This evening, our State Department correspondent Margaret Brennan has learned details of how the United States will dispose of Syria's chemical weapons. The Obama administration nearly went to war over nerve gas attacks in the Syrian civil war. The Assad dictatorship agreed to surrender its stockpile, but no country has been willing to destroy the weapons until now. The Navy's Cape Ray, a cargo ship currently docked in southern Virginia, will soon embark on an unprecedented mission. It will set sail equipped with two specially designed hydrolysis units like this one. Never used before in the field or at sea, these machines will mix the chemical agents with hot water and bleach, neutralizing all 500 tons of mustard gas, sarin, and VX. Getting these weapons out of a country mired in civil war has also never been done. The next phase of the process is the most complex in terms of both logistics and security. Tom Countryman oversees the State Department's role in the operation. He told us the chemicals will be transported in armored vehicles through the war zone under Syrian military protection to the coastal city of Latakia. There, they'll be loaded on to Danish and Norwegian ships and taken to an Italian port where they then be offloaded onto the Cape Ray. How do you keep the chemicals from getting into the wrong hands? Preventing the chemicals from getting to the wrong hands to terrorist groups within Syria or outside of Syria is exactly the reason that we need to move rapidly to get these chemicals out of Syria. It is a security challenge anytime you move something like chemical weapons in a visible convoy. There's a risk on both safety and security. Well, the chemicals were scheduled to be removed by the end of the month, but that's tough to do in the middle of a civil war. Russia, an ally of the Assad regime, has offered to secure safe passage of the chemicals, but their role has not yet been approved.